Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. So we're here in the desert. Uh, Sot's getting impatient, we better move. Alright, so now we're running around this Salsa, and if we check out him, uh, he's kind of weak. <laughs> I mean, level 1, 6 offense, 2 defense, you know. Uh, pretty horrible stats, to be honest. 34 HP. So, you know, Salsa's pretty weak. What's actually kind of interesting about this place is that whenever we get in battles, Facade's pretty much going to be doing all the work. So this is a dung beetle. It says we snuck up on a friend behind, but that looks like his face to me. I don't know. Alright, so there we go. And the facade attacks into 66, so he's basically going to be doing most of our work. Uh, that's why I called Wes, like, the second most useful party member. Oh, it's got some dung. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, so the, basically we can go around and we can train up Salsa if we want. Alright, it might be a good idea to at least fight some of these things to get a few levels here and there. It doesn't really matter if you train them up like a whole lot. Now, let's go ahead and take this thing on. This is a new, different enemy. This is the Sand Lizard. And this song is actually really interesting. You think the combo for this would be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, you know, just like that. It's actually... You have to, like, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. You gotta, like, pause there. It's really weird. It sucks. I don't like it. Oh, wow, I can't believe I got 16. That's I usually have a hard time with that. Alright, so Facade finishes that guy off for us. 10 experience points, which is pretty good. Uh, considering we only needed like 5 for the next level to start out with. Alright, we've got a running bomb there. And now you may remember we picked up uh, the dung from that one dung beetle. Uh, this is Wansome Dung. I don't have any dung to roll, so I'm not a true dung beetle. I'm so sad. If you ever happen to come across some dung, please bring it to me. I'll always be here, so please bring me some. So you can bring him some dung. And, uh, you're giving it to me for free. And he gives you, uh, some experience in return. Everyone in Salsa's party gained five experience points. And, uh, we leveled up there, so it's kind of cool. We actually leveled up, like, not in a battle. But, uh, if you want, you can fight the Dung Beetles in return for that. I'm not sure how good the experience return would actually be for that, to be honest. But I guess it's worth returning what you collect. Uh, there are better places to grind, in my opinion, if you're wanting to train Salsa up. Uh, let's take this guy out here. Okay, so those guys give off a little bit better experience than the Dung Beetles. We're also going to be encountering a couple other enemies in this place. Open the present, and we get a Luxury Banana. Cool. Oh, that's a Luxury Banana. Hey, you stupid monkey. If you think you've earned that Luxury Banana, then you better think again. Give me that. <sighs> Take my Luxury Banana, man. Yeah, and then he has the gall to just eat it right in front of you. You cave up the Luxury Banana. Oh man. That's a good healing item, too. And then you can also run across it if you want, and uh, slip and fall. <laughs> it's kind of cute, I guess. But... Alright, so let's get going. Alright, so let's go down here. This is another new enemy. We actually snuck up on him, which I can't usually do. And it's got this cool music. Alright, takes a little while, but this is a Sarah Sarah Sahara. Kind of an interesting looking enemy, if you ask me. Uh, really not that tough, but I think it gives off pretty good experience. Yeah, 15, so that's not bad. Level up again to level 4. And get an Ancient Banana. That's actually not a healing item, despite it being a food. Uh, it'll actually... Ooh, yeah, well, I want to fight one of these things. Alright, and this is a great Antleon. Antlion, whatever, however you pronounce it. Uh, I say we use our Ancient Banana on this guy. Should work. Yeah, slipped violently and took 51 damage. So, you know, you pretty much have to use attack items if you want to have any hope of taking this guy out. There's another item we'll be getting later that'll actually work better on him. But uh, we don't have one of those yet, so not much we can do. Pincer attack. All right, the facade finished it off. This should be some pretty good experience. Yeah, 27. That's going to help out. All right, I'm just kind of exploring around here to see if there's some presents. Uh, I don't know where all of them are off the top of my head, so... Some beef jerky, yeah, all right, that's a good recovery item. All right, it's a little bit risky fighting those things. They're pretty powerful, especially compared to you, so, <laughs> you know, but they do give off good experience, so uh, it's worth it, in my opinion. All right, so we're getting some pretty decent experience. Let's see what's in here, or not. All right, so that battle took a little bit longer than normal due to some status ailments. All right, we got some bug spray. That's going to help us out. Uh, I think right in here, actually. Yeah, as we come up, there's a <laughs> frog in here. So dizzy. Help me, Ribbit. And we get into another battle with the great Antleon. Antleon. I don't know. <laughs> Antleon. I'll just pronounce it that way. Who cares, right? 
All right, so we want to use the bug spray on this guy. 333 damage, and it takes him out, so... Uh, they basically give you some free experience there, and we level up to six. All right, we're making some pretty good progress. Get a flea charm, nice. All oh, that spinning and dizziness actually started to feel kind of nice after a while. Thanks for saving me when I needed help. Anyways, while we're at it, save your game. No. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Frogs in a desert? It's actually not as crazy as you might think. Some species of frogs, such as sand frogs, do exist in arid desert regions like Africa. During seasons with little to no precipitation, these frogs burrow into the ground to protect themselves from the harsh, dry climate. Okay, little biology lesson for you there. Alright, let's fight this thing again. Okay, it's not really worth grinding up too much in here. But it is worth it to gain at least a few levels for the fight coming up. I got a running bomb. I also need to remember to equip that flea charm. Give us some extra defense. Fight this dung beetle, why not? And we got some dung. Great. <laughs> I'm not about to go take that back. Yeah, those things are pretty much useless as far as experience is concerned. You get like two per battle. Alright, let's pick up this present over here, an Aquarius bracelet, which we obviously want to equip. And, uh, before we head over to fight that little sleeping thing, yeah, that's pretty much our boss fight. Uh, do I have anything... <laughs> I don't have anything less effective. What does the dung do? Sauce's hands are sticky now. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so we healed up there, and now this is, uh, basically where we're heading. Ooh, that thing means business. Listen, monkey, that's a cactus wolf, the meanest thing in the desert. But we can't get inside with him standing there. Go beat him up. Lose and I'll have an extra serving of punishment ready just for you. Oh, man. Okay, so this is uh, sort of a boss battle with the cactus wolf here. Uh, might as well have a good time to show off uh, some of these little monkey tricks he can do here. Uh, let's try to make laugh. Ah, uh, no one was amused. Sometimes that'll make him start cheering for a few turns, and, uh... Oh, wow, facade, thanks for that. That helped out quite a lot. Let's try it again. Ah, uh, no one was amused. I know you can make him, uh, start cheering. Wow, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, look at how much he's helping us out. I guess we might as well try a monkey mimic, then. Let's see if he'll, uh... Yeah, he used a biting attack. And then Salsa does exactly the same thing back. And, wow, what do you know? We killed that thing. I've never seen facade throw two bombs in a row. That was incredibly lucky. And, of course, we're going to gain a level with all that experience. And we get some beef jerky, too. So, wow. <laughs> I mean, that was pretty incredible. Okay, so let's head into this building now. Get in, you. Okay, I was going anyway. <laughs> okay, so where are we at now? What's in here? Bug spray, what do you know? Alright, so I think this is a new variation. Actually, it's just exactly the same enemy, so <laughs> no real need to show that. Alright, we get the underground map here. So this is basically where we're at. Looks like we need to head left, what do you say? Alright, let's go. Hey, it's one of those revitalizing devices. Hey, stupid monkey, look here! Okay. What, man? I looked at you. This is a high-tech vehicle known as a pork bean. We're going to take it to an unbelievably uncivilized village called Tad's Millie. Hey, I know where that is. It's taken an incredibly long time to get there on foot, but with this pork bean, we'll get there in the blink of a nuihi. What is a nuihi? You get all that? Yeah. Use that ladder to get down there. Ah, but first, if we've got a bunch of presents to open. Ancient banana. This is a wonderful device called an instant revitalizing machine. In only a few seconds, it'll revitalize you. Yeah, we already know this. So, I'll give you special permission to use it for now. All right, good. So let's go. Alright, we are fully revitalized. Some beef jerky. And let's... Hey, don't get in yet, you stupid monkey. Okay. Alright, listen up. When you want to stop the pork bean while it's moving, press the B button. While it's stopped, press the B button again to get out. You get all that? Yep. Get in. Okay. Let's go. So now we kind of get to pilot this little vehicle. I don't know if the monkey's driving, or... <laughs> uh, that's kind of weird to think, but... Uh, we can go through here. There's actually some enemies along the way. Uh, if I can, I'm going to try to actually fight one of them, because you'll just defeat them instantly if you run over them with the pork bean. Uh, but you can fight them like this. And these guys are huge pill bugs. They don't look that big. He 
attacks. I've never actually fought one of these before, I don't think, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes, I guess. Shouldn't be too bad, you know. There we go, yeah, so that wasn't bad at all. So if we want, you can fight those things to get a little bit more experience. They also leave some nut bread. But uh, I say we just hop back in and kill those things. It's not really worth fighting, really. Alright, so now we're heading through on the pork bean. Some pretty nice little scenery here. And we just keep going to the left, as you can see on the map. But anyways, it looks like we're about to run out of time, so I'm going to stop it right here at this little section. And uh, in the next part, we'll continue going through with the pork bean. Uh, until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.